Hi, welcome to Wired Today on ICT Beyond Borders. My name is Paul Ekutosia. On this episode, we're going to be looking at Facebook addiction. What is Facebook addiction? We're going to be defining the term, and then I'm going to be giving you five ways to beat this addiction, to stay out of Facebook, uh, being addicted to Facebook. And generally, when we say Facebook addiction, it means spending an excessive amount of time on Facebook. Typically, it involves a person using uh, Facebook, uh, the person's use of Facebook, interfering with important activities in life, such as work, your school, or maintaining relationships with families and real friends. Addiction is a very strong word, and someone can have a problem with Facebook without having a full-blown addiction. Some people call this emerging type of addictive behavior Facebook addiction disorder, or FAD. But the syndrome is not widely acknowledged as a psychological disorder, though it's been studied by psychologists. Now, um, there are various signs and sim- symptoms of Facebook addiction, and it varies. First of all, you find yourself spending a lot of time thinking about Facebook or planning on how to use it. Again, you feel an urge to use Facebook more and more. You use Facebook in order to forget about your personal problems. Uh, again, you may have tried to cut down on the use of Facebook without success. You become so restless or troubled if you are prohibited from using Facebook or if if you have um, issues, probably you have a network issues or you have um, data issues. You just find yourself becoming restless and um, you use it so much that it, it has a negative impact. It begins to have a negative impact on your job and on your studies. The first thing is that you have to control your excessive use of Facebook. And there are some five um, strategies which I'm going to share with you now. It's going to be helpful in um, beating this Facebook addiction. What to do if you're really hooked on to addiction. Before you do anything, you need this, what I call self-awareness. You need to be aware, first of all, that you are addicted to it. You, you, you are hooked on to it. As it is with other uh, form of addiction, acknowledging and becoming fully aware of the nature of your problem is a prerequisite to solving it. So if you feel you may be you may be f- uh, filtering away your life in the world's largest social network like Facebook, you have to take these following steps, which I'm going to be sharing with you in a minute. Now, the first step is this. Keep a Facebook time journal. Keep a Facebook time journal. The first thing to do to beat your addiction to Facebook, you have to keep a Facebook time journal. Set an alarm. Set a virtual alarm clock on your smartphone or on your computer every time you click over to look at Facebook. Now, when you stop, check the alarm clock and write down the moment amount of time you waste or you spent um, on Facebook. So you can set a weekly limit. Say like six hours uh, would be okay for you or would be too much. Depends on what you do on Facebook. So you can set a weekly limit that I'm not going to spend more than six hours on Facebook every week. And then you can decide to meet out a self-punishment upon yourself anywhere you go. So all you need to do is just set a time journal by putting an alarm clock on your smartphone or on your computer each time you visit Facebook, and then you'll be able to check the, the alarm, alarm clock and check the time you spend every week or at that moment on Facebook. Number two step is you're going to try to use the Facebook block software. You're going to download, you can download and install any one of these many software programs that let you block Facebook and other internet time wasters from being accessible on your computers. You have numerous softwares around there. Uh, Self Control is one of them. Self Control is a very um, nice uh, software that works on Apple computers. You can use it to block access to an email or to a particular website for any amount of time you choose. All you need to do, you just download them. Another one is Facebook Limiter. Facebook Limiter is another fantastic software which you can use to block your Facebook uh, and uh, limit the access time you have to Facebook. Now, the number three step again you could do to uh, break this addiction is to get help from your friends. You can get your spouse or your boyfriend or your girlfriend to set a new password for your Facebook account and promise to hide it from you uh, for at least a week or two. You can try that and then to see how you could you could begin to adapt to the new change. It's cheap, actually, and it's one of the easiest ways to block yourself and to unblock yourself, to block and unblock yourself off Facebook. And it's like you going into a sweet talking mode whereby you you have time to do other things. You have time to um, spend more on your relationships, on your work, on your career, on your job, and on your academics if you are into all that. Now, the number four step I would want to share with you is for you to deactivate Facebook. 
uh, you can just go ahead and de deactivate your Facebook. If none of the above is helping, none of the above three steps I've given to you, then all you need to do is just sign into your Facebook temporarily and suspend your account. You just temporarily suspend your account or you deactivate your Facebook account. Now, you can go back to your Facebook account settings page and click on the last option, delete your Facebook account or to suspend your Facebook account until you are ready to rejoin. So you can actually deactivate your account and then whenever you're ready to, you, you feel fit and you feel able to control your addictions, control your, 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 your the time you spend on Facebook, you can go back and then reactivate your account by simple uh, signing in. So you can actually deactivate your Facebook account. It doesn't really delete you out of Facebook. All it does is just keeps you shut down and uh, keeps your profile off radar and you won't be able to do anything on Facebook. Now the last step I want to give to you is delete Facebook. You can also delete Facebook. If you have done everything, the, the entire four steps I've given to you before and it's not working, you can decide to delete your Facebook. If all things fails, permanently just quit Facebook. You can do this by choosing the hidden delete Facebook option and that's your network offers and make it try uh, makes it uh, hard to find for you. So you just can be very sure that you will not be feeding your addiction to Facebook because after 14 days this options wipes out all your profile data, your photos, and your friend list. So, um, some may see you deleting. Some people may see you deleting your account as uh, equivalent to social suicide, but um, it's kind of a melodramatic. It's dramatic for you there, but you actually know you're trying to remove um, this addiction, this uh, cut down the time which you're spending on facebook so we're going to go back again a recap of the steps in trying to beat facebook addiction is number one you keep a facebook time journal by setting an alarm clock on them to check the amount of time you spend on facebook number two you try to use a facebook blocking software you could use self-control for apple for apple uh, products so you could use a facebook limiter for um, windows and um, android products and then you step number three you have to get help from friends you could tell your friend uh, to change your password give your, your account to your friend who changes your password and then set a new password for you and hides it from you for at least a week or two and then number four you could deactivate your facebook by going off radar for some time and then when you when you, you you see that you're no longer addicted to it you're able to control the amount of time you spend on it you can go back and reactivate it or possibly you can just delete your facebook and then uh, permanently quit facebook and there's no harm in quitting facebook there's no harm people do it and uh, when you feel you are able to have control of your time you'll be able to come back to radar that'll be all on this episode in the next episode we're going to be looking at the um six best iphone apps i'm going to be doing a review on the six iphone business apps that makes you more productive in the next episode and to get more of all these episodes on ICT Beyond Borders, you can go to our website, ictbeyondborders.net.ng. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ictbeyondborders to get more of these updates. Thank you. See you next time.